Hi. Today we are going to um, open up our bag and find our greenhouse, which Olivia pointed out is actually yellow. That's because you're going to color on it. All right, so let's pull that out. And there it is. Unfold it. It's your greenhouse, so be careful. Don't lose any of your little seeds inside there. And we're going to need this plastic bag too, so let's be careful that we don't rip a hole in that bag. All right, so step one, we're going to write our name right here. So this one will say Trisha's Greenhouse. So you can get your crayons and choose your nice color. Mm, I'm going to choose this one. This is my favorite color inside the crayon box. But look, it's been ripped off, so I can't even read what it says. Mine says something green. It's blue. Maybe it says blue green. How about read your crayon and see what it says? There's three different languages there, too. All right, so I'm going to say Trish has greenhouse. There. And you notice how there's, that's where your name will be, Trisha, but your name will be whatever your name is. And then there's this apostrophe S, and that means Trisha's greenhouse. That means that this greenhouse belongs to me. So now I get to decorate it. Maybe there is um, some plants growing up. So can you draw some plants on yours? I'm going to turn my computer down a little bit so you can see what I'm drawing too. Ready? Here we go. Okay, so let's draw some plants. I'm going to use some green and I'm going to, well, maybe I'll put some grass on the bottom. Yeah, I'm going to start with grass. I'm going to have it pop up there. I like this color green. I'll go like this, grass along the bottom. There we go. And then I'm going to have like maybe some vines. This one's going to be like a swirly kind of a vine and then there's going to be some little leaves on it coming off my vine because this is a happy plant inside my greenhouse okay and that's had a flower on top of it whatever color this is this one says scarlet Ooh, i have a niece named scarlet so there's my little flower on top maybe this is the kind of vine that has flowers that come out of all over the vine i think i'm going to give some little tiny stems that shoot off my vine and I'm going to put some flowers on the end of those, too. Ooh, that was fun. There we go. <clears throat> some happy little flowers. See if your parents know that reference. I'm just going to draw some happy little flowers on the end of our stems. There was a famous painter who used to say that all the time. All right, there we go. So that's one side. I'm going to decorate the other side. I think I'm going to put a sunshine up here. Because one thing we need in our garden is a sun. I'm going to, I'm going to outline it in black, and then I'm going to color it in in yellow. Otherwise, I might not be able to see my sunshine very well because it's already yellow paper. Okay, I have to push pretty hard on my yellow. There we go. I'm going to give some nice sun rays. And sometimes to make my sunshine pop, I'm going to add a swirl of orange too in the middle. Like that. Maybe that's a fun sunshine. And then some more little orange sun rays. There we go. Okay, I'm ready for something on this side too. And I wanted to add some bugs in my garden actually. Maybe I'll do some short flowers over here. I'll just do a couple of, maybe I'll do a couple like that. And maybe I can make it sort of a tulip. If I do like pointy leaves. And then another one beside it. I noticed some tulips were just growing in my garden. I think they just opened up yesterday or the day before. And they're quite beautiful. There we go. There. There's some flowers. And now I want to draw a bug. I'm going to draw a ladybug. There's my red red. 
Okay, let me draw a little round body to start. There we go. And then I'm going to draw, and then I'm going to put a little black head on the end, and some polka dots. There we go, and some little legs. And then I realize I've got it in the middle of my paper. Maybe it's supposed to be walking on something, since I don't have its wings open. So I better, I better draw some taller stems for it to walk on. Like maybe he's going somewhere, and maybe this flower goes right off the page and he's crawling. Or she's crawling. All right, and I think I'm going to do one bumblebee up here. I'm going to um, make this fun. Color it in yellow first, a big yellow circle. And now I'm going to outline it in black. And give him some stripes, some wings, a little head. Off it goes. And then maybe it needs a trail as to where it flew. Zzz. I'm going to fly up here and fly around. There we go. A little trail. All right. So my greenhouse is ready. And over here I'm noticing it says Trisha's greenhouse planted on blank. So what day did you plant your greenhouse? I'm planting mine today, and today is the 21st, so I'm going to write April 21st. So I'm going to start with a capital A, like that, and now I need a P, 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 a P. Okay, there's my P, Ape, we'll do Ape, R, 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 Ape, and now I need Ape, Ill. Oh, eh, oh, two different letters, an I, eh, and an L. April, April, and it is the 21st, so 2, 1, 21. So I'm going to write that one, 2, 1. There we go. April 21st. If you run out of room, that's okay. All right, now, I have to cut out the middle of this, and so do you. So it says cut this section out, but I don't want to cut my border. I want my house to look like it's still standing, but I want the middle part cut out. So now you need your skizzers. Fine now. And the way that you get this, you'll notice that it's folded. So if you just fold it back on that line for a second and then make a little snip right there. Okay, now open your house back up. And now you have a little hole in your paper right there, right? Okay, so now if you put your scissors in your paper, and I, I cut right up to one of the corners like that. And then I'm going to cut right to the other corner. Like that. And I'm going to keep cutting to my corners. And that gives me... Now all I have to do is lift up a little flap like that and I just cut on that line, maybe even on the inside of the line, just so that I don't end up snipping right through my greenhouse. And I have to cut a little bit slow when I get to my corner. All right, there's one section off. And I turn my paper. Remember we don't turn our scissors like that when we're cutting? All we have to do is keep turning our paper. Our scissors really always point up. If we start pointing them down and around and it hurts my wrist and it doesn't make cutting very easy. So here we go. Scissors are up. And I'm cutting. Snip. Turn my paper. Here we go. Snip. One more side to go. And if I'm going too fast, just hit pause. Finish your drawing, finish your cutting, and then catch back up. Right, and then hit go. That's the beauty of teaching online is if I'm talking too fast, you just are like, yeah, whatever, pause, and then go back to what you're doing, and then hit go when you're ready to listen again. So there you go. Okay, so you should end up with a little hole in your house, just like that. Now you're ready for step two, or maybe it's step three. We did our name, our date, our drawing, or cutting. Oh my gosh, step five. Okay, step five, here we go. Now it's time for your bag and your seeds. 
Now just, this is science and in science, sometimes things go right and sometimes things go wrong. And that's normal, that's all part of science. So let's put the seeds in our hand and take a look at them for a second. So what do those little seeds, can you see them? If I tilt, if I tilt them too much, they're gonna roll off my hand. What do those little seeds remind you of? Can you tell what plant might grow from those little seeds? What do they look like? It's a kind of food, a kind of food that you would usually eat. Yeah, those are pea seeds. They look like little tiny peas. They are, but feel how hard they are. It's not funny. Usually peas are really soft and squashy, right? But these little peas are not. These peas are hard. So this is a, this is a pea. Um, but it's dehydrated, which means all of the moisture has been taken out. And so it is a little tiny. Now we can use it as a seed. So inside, this little seed is asleep. So <clears throat> all seeds that are hard like this and don't have a plant growing out of them are, are called dormant. So it's dormant. Its life is inside and it's like it's sleeping and waiting for the right conditions to grow. So we're going to create those conditions in our plastic bag. But just in case it goes wrong, let's just use two of them today and let's save the other two and put them away, maybe back in our school bag or give them to your mom. Have her put them in a dish and just leave them aside. So if something goes wrong in your greenhouse, you can start again because that always happens. So I'm gonna put two of my seeds away right now back in my Ziploc bag, my big Ziploc, because I don't want them to roll away. They're so tiny. And now I've got these two left. So the next thing we're going to need is a paper towel and a little cup of water. Or you can just get a paper towel. Um, I'm just going to use, I think, I'm going to try first to use just the half size, the small. And I'm going to get it a little bit wet. The whole thing wet. And then I'm going to bring it back to my bag. But I don't want my house to get wet because my house is just paper. So put your paper far away for a minute. And just with your plastic bag, go get a piece of paper towel and get it wet. Hit pause if you need to, and then come back. All right. So hopefully I'm saying, welcome back, or maybe you didn't leave. <laughs> so here we go. So I'm taking my paper towel, and I'm just going to dip it into my cup of water and bring it out. And then I'm just going to squeeze it a tiny bit. There you go. This is Olivia you see reaching in, there you go. <laughs> She's doing science with me today. All right, so I'm going to unfold it a little bit, not entirely, and I'm gonna open up my bag, and I'm gonna put my paper towel on the inside. I want it to be pretty wet. If I was to squeeze it, more water would come out, so. All right, my paper towel's in there, and then I'm gonna put it to the bottom, and then I'm gonna take my two little pea seeds, and I'm gonna put them in, so you can see them, right there, like that. So now my two little pea seeds are in there because to make these guys wake up and not be dormant anymore, we have to give them a couple of things to grow. Can you guess what we have to give them to grow? What was something that we just did? What did we just add with our paper towel? They don't need paper to grow, but they need what's on the paper. What did we just get do to our paper? Water. Yeah, we got our paper wet. So all little seeds and all plants need water to grow. So to make these guys wake up, they need water and they need something else. They need something that's going to be outside in the sky. And I drew it on my greenhouse and it was yellow. They need the sunshine, they need light. So they need the sunshine and they need that water and they don't need soil yet. So if you said dirt or soil, yeah, plants do need dirt and soil, but they don't need it quite yet. What we're gonna do is we want um, to leave them like this and I'm going to not zip my bag all the way up. I want there to be some air in my bag, but it's, it's I've, I've clipped it on a couple of spots. This is the part where I sometimes go wrong. I don't really know if I should zip it the whole way or if I should leave a little bit of air getting out. I don't want my water to all evaporate and dry. So that would be all the water would leave out in vapor and gas and then it would dry out because my little seeds need water. 
So I'm going to check on it every day and see what's going on. All right, now we get to add it into our greenhouse. There we go. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna hang it in behind here. And I might need staples. I don't think our glue is gonna be strong enough. So you might need um, some help from, from mom now or a parent. You might need to put some tape on the back or you could put um, two staples or maybe a paper clip, anything that you have. Uh, Olivia's gonna go look for some tape. Can you look for some tape for us? Or something in our junk drawer in the kitchen and see if we can get it behind there. So our plants need a little bit of water, a little bit of light, and um, they need the right temperature to grow. So a little bit of heat. So to get the right temperature, and to get the light, I'm gonna hang it in the window. So I think that would be a great spot. So Olivia has found us ooh, some green tape for our greenhouse. That's a cute idea. Thank you. All right, here we go. I'm gonna tape it down like that. Push really hard so that it doesn't fall off. I might even wrap it around there. And maybe I might even put a couple pieces of tape on the side there. And I'm doing it on the back, so. There you go, it's like a little window in my greenhouse. Thank you. There we go. Okay, there's another one. That one on the other side. All right, I think we are ready. So, I want the seed facing that way. And I usually, I'm not sure how you want it in your, well, let's see. You can hang, you can do, this can be part of your experiment. Usually in the classroom, I hang them facing out so that when you're out on the playground, you can look in through the window and see our greenhouses hanging there. So that's how I taped this. Um, but now if you, so if you hang it outside, if you hang it against your window on the inside of your house, you won't, maybe you won't see the picture unless you can go outside and then look inside. So maybe you want to do that. That might be a cute idea. Or... You can turn your bag around right now if you want it facing you. But I think I want the seed facing outside. So I'm going to do it like this. All right, let's go hang it on the window. Ready? So let's bring another piece of tape. And now we hang them on the windows. So here we go. I think I'm going to bring two pieces because I don't, this bag is a little bit heavy. All right, let's go. You're going to come to my window too. So you have to find a window in your house that has the sun that's going to shine through it. And that's one of the problems we have in our classroom is we don't have sun that shines into our classroom. It's always bright daylight. So we have great windows for that, but we don't have the sun that shines right in, which makes it harder to grow plants. So let's go this way. And Olivia's found a spot over here, so we'll hang ours there too. Okay, do, 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 do. you're going for a little spin around there. Okay, here we go. Okay, and we're going to tape them. Can you see? Yeah, there we go. Okay, we're going to tape them right there. Okay, this is cool. I'm going to tape mine up top, top and bottom. Good idea. And I'm going to tape mine along that roof line. There we go. So, now they hang there and they have to hang there for a few days. Ooh, that's a bright light, isn't it? Let's go back to where we were. So they're gonna hang there for a few days and pretty soon, just like when a little chick is trying to get out of an egg, the little tiny plant is going to try to get out of that little seed. So pretty soon it's gonna like kick its little foot out, but instead of a foot, it's gonna be a root. So the little seed's gonna start to grow and the root is going to start coming out because inside that little seed's called an embryo. So it's living inside there and it's just waiting because it's dormant, it's asleep. And then when we give it a little bit of water and the right temperature and a little bit of sunshine, a little root will start coming out. So inside the seed is the plant and it's also a food source. So he has like a little, he's packed his little, or she, huh? It has packed its backpack lunch inside the little seed and it's sitting there waiting to eat it, but it's sleeping, so it's not eating. So as soon as it gets that water and light and the right temperature, a little bit warm, then it's going to start eating the food that's inside the seed already that's just for it. And then it'll kick out a little root 
the seed will start to split open and the little plant is going to start growing out. So we should see in a few days, three to five days, cross your fingers, that's what I'm hoping for, in about five days, we should see the roots start to come out. If it looks like your paper towel is getting a little bit too dry, then let's just spritz it with a water bottle or maybe we could get a different paper towel and kind of and dribble it inside. We'll have to see. Um, maybe we'll find that we should zip it all the way shut so that all the moisture stays inside the bag when the, maybe we should do that. You have to decide, you make the choice yourself and we'll see what happens. It's science. So if it starts to go wrong, we just have to make changes. That's what science is all about. So we're going to try, mine's mostly zipped, a little tiny bit open and we'll see what happens. If I'm wrong, well, that's okay. We'll just add a little more water, squeeze it in and zip it up tight. Sometimes if I, if the weather's not quite right outside, when I've planted these in the window, I, I have, sometimes I have them go moldy so they don't grow properly. They start to go yucky instead. And other times I've had them work out great. And sometimes there's some seeds that don't grow at all. So we don't know. That's why I gave you four seeds because maybe one of them doesn't work out and you still have another one to have a, have a go with. So we'll give these ones a try and, uh, We'll check back in and then and see what's going to happen with it. Um, an interesting thing about root that um, we'll hopefully notice is that roots always want to grow down. Somehow they know and they can sense in the world their job is to grow down. They know that they need to grow down into the soil. So when the root comes out, whatever way it comes out, it'll start coming out and then it'll start turning and growing down. So if it comes out sideways, hopefully we'll notice that it goes, whoa, where am I? And then it goes down like that. So that should be something interesting to watch. Uh, I think once we start letting it grow out, we'll have to wait and see. Don't touch it yet because it'll start to grow out and then it needs to turn. Uh, another thing I've noticed about roots that grow out of seeds like that is they can be very delicate. So if we touch them too much or they'll snap right off. But I think all we have to do if they snap off is just leave it in there and it might start growing again. Maybe if you have a little person in your house, you might want to put that greenhouse up high on the window so that little fingers can't break your seed for you or break your little root off. So maybe you want to do that to keep it a little bit safe. I know lots of you have little people that live in your house. Not all of you do. Some of you just have big brother or sister or some of you are just on your own with your parents in your house. So then you're lucky because no one's going to touch your bag but you. <laughs> so that's one thing about not having siblings is that they don't get in your way. If you have a little sibling, that's okay. And you have extra seeds. So you could make your, you could have your little sibling help you um, and they could make a little greenhouse too out of just a regular piece of paper and then cut a little window and get your own Ziploc bag and they can give it a try too. I would love to see that you've done that if you have a a brother or sister at home and they want to help or participate it would be so kind of you to say sure you can have my other two seeds and you can give it a try all right i can't wait to see what happens well let's check back every day and take a look at our little greenhouses growing and see what's see what's happening and what we notice about them we might have some questions along the way if you have questions you can text them in to me and we'll try to solve those questions together so anyways, I think I'm excited about this. All right, have fun with your greenhouses.